Uh, yes, I'm ready. Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, we will start. It's a great honor to be with us, one of the uh, most famous uh, orthopedic surgeons in uh, China, Professor Zhang Wei from China. Uh, Professor Zhang will share with us our his experience uh, tonight in a very important topic, which is the cervical UPE. Uh, Professor Zhang will speak about a recorded surgery, and he will mention a demonstration of this uh, recorded surgery. First of all, I would like to thank uh, Endovision Company for sponsoring this webinar and the uh, webinar before it, and making uh, transferring the knowledge of our dear colleagues from China, from South Korea, from India, to all Egyptian and Middle East surgeons. Thank you so much. And thanks to my friend, Dr. Vlad Tepteski for being the sponsoring of this uh, webinar. Uh, Dr. Zhang, you are very welcome, sir. May you start, please, sir? Okay, can, uh, can I uh, begin my topic? Yes, sir. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Professor uh, Mohammed. Uh, I'm very uh, honored to uh, share my UB experience in the cervical, uh, in the Benha uh, orthopedic course uh, tonight. Um, uh, first, uh, I will, I will uh, introduce myself. I'm Dr. Zhang Wei from China. Uh, I worked in the Hangzhou uh, TCM hospital, and uh, I, I majored in the uh, UB technique. We all know that UB is a unilateral bipotal endoscopy. Uh, and uh, uh, thank, uh, thanks very much for the, uh, uh, for the Endovision company. We all know that Endovision company uh, produced uh, the high quality the UB products, uh, including the endoscopy as a tools and uh, the, the bone, uh, bone bore. Uh, uh, is a very good, great company. Um, tonight, uh, the topic is uh, is about uh, the cervical uh, cervical case. Uh, uh, can I share my screen to show the case first? Yes, please, sir. Okay. Uh, can you see my screen? Yes, sir. I can see it, sir. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this case is uh, uh, the patient is a male, uh, fifty-four years old, and uh, uh, he had uh, the left side upper limb numbness and pain uh, lasted for about two months. And the scrolling test is um, uh, is positive, and the, the Hoffman is negative. Uh, the MRI shows the discoronation and the foraminal stenosis in the six and the seven level. Uh, this is uh, this is the MRI. You can see the uh, discoronation in the uh, six and the seven. And this is the CT. Uh, this is the X3. Um, we we uh, we uh, we carry out the uh, the discectomy by the Kho technique uh, by the uh, UBE technique. There are two portals. We all know that the UBE include the two portals. One portal is the endoscopy portal, and another portal is the work portal. Um, uh, how to uh, make sure the location of the portals uh, in the cervical procedure. Uh, first, uh, we draw a horizontal line, so the red line uh, in the uh, uh, six, seven, uh, 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 the disc level, and the, the blue line is the mid line of the uh, lateral, uh, lateral mass. And uh, above one centimeter is the uh, endoscopy portal, and below uh, one centimeter is the uh, work portal. Um, uh, in the lateral X ray, uh, we focus on the facet joint. Uh, this is um, uh, 
during the operation, I, I often to use the, the bore, a small diamond bore uh, to make sure the level again and uh, make sure where is the, uh, the, the uh, let a facet joint and where is the pedicle. I, I, I often use the, the small size diamond bore to make sure again during the operation. Okay, um, who will share the uh, operation with you? Yes, sir. You, you can share the video, sir. Okay. I will share my video. Uh, This video shows a whole. Uh, uh, this video shows a whole procedure. Sorry. Uh, can you see the video? Yes, sir. It's working, sir. Yes. Uh, uh, I will uh, introduce the direction of the operation. The left side is a cranial side. The right side is a caudal side. Uh, above is the midline, below is the uh, uh, surgeon side. First, uh, I use the uh, uh, 90 degree, the radio frequency to clear the soft tissue uh, on the surface of the laminar. You can see uh, the, the interlaminar area between the C6 and the C7. This is the area of the C7 laminar. And the left side is uh, lower margin of the C6. It is, it is similar to the open surgery. Yes, you can see the C6 laminar. I use my left hand to hold the endoscopy and the right hand to hold the radio frequency. You can see the muscle in the lateral side. The uh, ligament flavor, flavor. Now we clear the soft tissue on the uh, on the surface of the facet joint, the lateral mass. I prefer to use this big size radio frequent. You can find it in the innovation company uh, per production. Innovation company also have this uh, kind of the radio frequency. As you can see the facet joint. And uh, the V point, 
uh, the waypoint is uh, is a very important concept, uh, and uh, and is a, is also a very important landmark, anatomy landmark. It is uh, formed by the median margin of the facet joint and uh, the lower margin and the upper margin of the C C C six and C seven. I clear the the uh, the fat tissue between the facet joint. This is a lateral mass facet joint. Um, this is a small size uh, radio frequency. I often use this small size uh, radio frequency to control bleeding on the surface of the uh, dura or the spinal cord or nerve root. Because uh, this small size radio frequency uh, has a, a low energy, it is different from the big size radio frequency. So the anatomy is very clear. You can see the facet joint and the V point. Descent the soft tissue and uh, find the clear margin of the V point. V point uh, is the uh, uh, beginning um, uh, area of the keyhole. Yes, this is a small size, small size ball. I, I like using this small size ball to make a hole and uh, to do the X-ray to 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 show, sorry to to show the where where is the pedicle and uh, especially the uh, media wall of the uh, media wall of the pedicle in C7. No, I'm doing the X-ray, the AP X-ray to show where is the tip of the, the bore. Then I insert the endoscopy again. I know uh, where is the small bone? You can see the hole. Uh, this this hole show shows the the exact uh, position of the uh, media wall of the pedicle. Then I can make sure my decompression area. This is a hole. Is very important because uh, I do not uh, 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 want to damage the facet joint. Uh, if I remove uh, too much facet joint, which will cause the instability. So I think uh, this method can show me uh, the decompression area. Bleeding control. Also, I can use uh, the, the size of the burn to make sure the decompression area.
no eye insert uh, about uh, three millimeter size, uh, the diamond ball um, begin from the V point. We make thin the uh, laminar and uh, the facet joint. Uh, in this case, I use uh, the 30 degree uh, endoscopy. Uh, we all know that uh, the endovision company have two types of the endoscopy. Uh, one is uh, zero and another is uh, 30 degree. Um, the zero degree is uh, similar to the uh, open surgery and uh, the so 30 degree, uh, you must uh, uh, rotate the endoscopy uh, to, to uh, see uh, the area which you are interested in. You can control the direction uh, by the rule on the screen. Slowly, you can see the, the tip of the uh, lateral mass of the uh, C7. After removing the lower part of the C6, you can see the tip of the uh, C7. Because the noble root is uh, uh, under the tip of the C7, so we must uh, remove the tip of the C7. There are uh, two, two pedal uh, 
uh, in the uh, radio frequency, the yellow one and the blue one. You can use the uh, yellow one to, to do the bleeding control. We will use the detector to, to detect uh, and find where is the uh, soft tissue and where is the bone. We make seeing the, the bone and remove it. Yeah, you can see the tip. Sometimes we make we use the bar to make thin the bone. It uh, it is similar to the paper. So is 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 easy to remove the the paper broom. In UBE procedure, uh, you must uh, to uh, to keep. Uh, enough inflow and uh, the outflow fluidly, then you can have the uh, clear operation uh, vision field. This area is similar, is similar to the paper boom, the very thin. UB procedure is similar to the uh, macro surgery uh, in the water media. It uh, has uh, magnified uh, the operation field and the clear uh, operation field. So I like this technique. In majority of the case, uh, the uh, disc fragment is often uh, located in the axillary area of the nerve root.
we also uh, can use the radio frequency to do the bleeding control on the surface of the bone. Now I change a small size one, uh, about a two millimeter uh, the diamond wall. Uh, this is the axillary area of the noble root.
because uh, in the cervical procedure, uh, we we one hand uh, is used to hold the endoscopy, another hand is uh, used to hold the bore. So you must uh, practice uh, to make sure the the bore is uh, uh, stable. Uh, so I, I think the the bore must be not. Uh, it's better to not very long, uh, more, more shorter, more, more, more stable, I think. Professor Zayn? Yeah, yeah, can you see my video? N no, sir. Okay, uh, sorry. No, sir. Uh, sorry. It's a stop. Yeah, uh, can you see yeah. it? Yeah, okay. I can see it, sir. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead, sir. Thank you. I'm off uh, offline, uh, maybe. <laughs> Sometimes uh, I often use the bone wax uh, to do the uh, bleeding control. Uh, this area is uh, a lateral margin of the flavor ligament and uh, on the surface of the nerve root, 
uh, Zuri is uh, a member on. Uh, this is uh, about uh, one millimeter kerosene punch to remove the lower margin of the C6. Uh, you can see the the shoulder shoulder part of the uh, novel root.
uh, this uh, this radio frequency is similar to the uh, uniportal radio frequency, but uh, uh, it, it is very short.
uh, this is another uh, small size uh, video frequency. Uh, the curved one. The lateral margin of the flavor ligament and the membrane on the surface of the nerve root.
this is uh, C7 over root. Uh, too much uh, the uh, blood vessel on the surface of the nerve root. We do the bleeding control in the axillary area of the nerve root. You can see the uh, disc coordination in the axillary area of the nerve root.
uh, I insert a key while through the Corbett key portal uh, as a retractor to retract the uh, nerve root and uh, pro protect the nerve root. Then I, I open the annular fibers. You can see the disc fragment go outside. Uh, we also can use the uh, radio frequency to uh, to uh, to close the uh, annular uh, fibers. and do the bleeding control. Uh, they have finished their, their operation.
Okay. Thank you so much, Dr. Zhang, for uh, this very nice presentation. Yeah. Uh, uh, so our question is, uh, the radio frequency may do injury to the nerve root. Uh, uh, before I open the, uh, the cervical canal, I often use the big size radio frequency. Uh, the bigger size the radio frequency has a very high energy. Maybe it can cause the damage of the nerve root. But uh, if I expose the nerve root, I, I often use the small size uh, radio frequency. Uh, it has a low energy. So uh, it cannot cause the injury to the nerve root. Any other questions to Professor Zhang? Any other questions? Okay, sir, thank you so much, sir. We have no other questions. It was a, a great honor and great pleasure for us that you joined us uh, this night in this very fruitful webinar. Thank you so much, sir. Hoping you all the best and wishing you all the best, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Mohammed's uh, invitation. It's my Thank honor to join in this, uh, this course. Uh, it Thank is you. only, only a, a, a keyhole uh, procedure uh, by UBE. Um, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Many thanks to Professor uh, Zhang from uh, China and to Endovision from Endovision Company from South Korea and see you soon, inshallah. Thank you so much, sir. Wishing you all the best and have a nice time. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, uh, Endovision Company. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. See, you. see you next time. See you, sir. Thank you so much. See you.